How's it going everybody? So today I'm going to talk about a day trip we took to Tübingen, but for some reason I just feel like trying to mix this up and make it the fastest episode of life in Germany ever. I don't know why, but the record is 3 minutes and 12 seconds, so I gotta get going. So yeah, we went to Tübingen, we took the train, it would have been faster if we went by car, but we didn't. It took about an hour. We were thinking about renting some bikes, but the machine was broken, so we just got a boat instead. It was pretty nice. We got it for an hour, I got to row a little bit, we basically just went around in a big circle, saw some pretty scenery. Then we went to get milkshakes. They had all kinds of flavors at this place we went. One of them was Smurf flavor. Don't ask me. I got a mango flavored one, and naturally I ran around showing it to the world. Then we walked into this epic old church, but what was even more epic were these two guys outside playing accordion. They were really good, and I was filming them a little bit, and then... What? Mom even gave them money, and they wouldn't let me film them. <laughs> then we went into this watch store. There were some seriously good-looking watches there. The watches were made right there in Tübingen. I think it's a family business. Then we found ourselves right in the middle of the city, in the town square. We found this cool rock shop, and, uh, what the heck is Jesus Live? Then we went up to the old castle and found a real Caesar's head. See, back in South Carolina, we have a Caesar's head, but it's just a, it's just a rock. Some drunk redneck must have seen it and thought it looked like Caesar. I could personally never see the face. And then we thought we found a tour of the castle, but it turned out to be a college lecture. On the way back to the train station, I lied to a Hare Krishna guy. I told him I had no money. Karma's really gonna bite me in the butt for that one, isn't it? He did give me a pamphlet though, which is pretty entertaining. I mean, I mean, look at this guy. He clearly reached total enlightenment. And you know what? They had some great weed there. So then we headed home, but not before grabbing some very refreshing Hugos. 